All right, so in the last seven days, I decided that I want to create a Fiverr account, start offering my services, and I was able to make over in profit. Oh my God! Wow! Luckily, I was able to record the whole process, all the good and the bad things that happened, and I want to share that with you to educate you about selling your own services on Fiverr. So the first thing that I did is I went to Fiverr and started researching some different gigs, something that I personally can offer that will not take too much of my time, and something that doesn't have too much competition. So I was able to find this gig, basically this guy offering store reviews that he just screen recording his screen where he reviews the stores, showing the customers where there are different products problems in the website people are looking for information about your brand and, and i was able to see that this guy actually has a lot of orders in quote meaning that people actually buy that so there is a demand for a service like that so i went to fiverr set up my own account created my new gig i made this quick video where i explained exactly what is my service because i saw that this guy is using video as well and finally launched my gig after my gig was up and running i decided to share that on instagram and with my email list which i have like a couple thousands of emails and this is what happened in the next day the next day 44 dollars guys I have in total five orders so people actually bought the first sale for like 25 dollars the bigger package and then the 15 and only the three ones got just for five dollars so i'm going to get that delivered and get some reviews on the account and some attraction so hopefully this one will grow to hundreds if not thousands So editing the video, I realized that I didn't even show you my Fiverr gig. And in terms of marketing, I just checked and I didn't even send any email until two days after I already started the challenge. All I did is just, I posted on our Telegram group, which we have like around 700 people. I just posted, hey guys, if somebody needs a store review, DM me that's it and by the way if you're still not in our telegram group and you're doing drop shipping make sure to check it out i will leave it in the link in the description now in terms of my gig as you can see what i'm offering is what i told you a video review of your website and i have basically three packages the basic one is just reviewing your store the standard package is reviewing your store and your marketing which is facebook ads or instagram ads and lastly it's one-on-one -on -one private coaching now these prices are as of today so when i started i priced the basic one for five bucks the standard one i priced for 15 and the premium one was at 25 so i just wanted to start as low as i possibly can to get some reviews and then potentially increase the prices all right folks enjoy the rest of the video the next day all right so have a look at the amount of orders that we have so we have already five completed six delivered and waiting for them to approve the delivery six active three new and five which is basically the same thing so let's take a look at the earnings so far so expected earnings that i still haven't claimed 128 and so far it's on top of that we have 36 so we're looking at how much like 150 60 something like that which is quite nice uh, compared to that it's just the second day of selling on fiverr so i mean it's fine it's a lot a lot of work a lot of work and to deal with people although for such a cheap price and doing that and they still kind of complain i'm a customer so shut it up but i mean that's people so hey guys that's the update for as of right now all right, what is happening people? So we are six days in and that was crazy, especially in the weekend when I posted like a, an email that I'm doing this challenge. Like my mind was blown away and I spent all my weekend just reviewing different stores, having coaching calls. Yeah, let me show you an example. Let me show you an example of our store, marketing strategy of it was when the epidemic started so let me show you now we are about like almost six days in let me show you exactly how much we made take a look total earnings that confirmed 228 dollars and we have also expected earnings of 72 so we are roughly actually exactly at 300 bucks within less than six days so i believe it's fairly impressive so let's see how it goes if i can get like to a thousand dollars a single month that will be amazing so yeah we'll keep you posted all right, folks, the day has come. So waking up today in the morning, guess what email I received?
So, I mean, like within seven days, within a week, we already claimed $332 and we have expected earnings of $112. So that is really good. And we are getting close to like 500 bucks, which like my goal is just at least to make like a thousand dollars with this challenge. But now all the reviews that I gained on that gig are basically gone. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I already sent them an email about their decision because they basically claim that I bought kind of fake reviews, which wasn't the case. What I was doing is I was offering a cheap price just to get myself through the door. Every order that I got, I delivered it in the best absolute way. Some of you like might purchase it. And I really did my two, if not 300% of each order. And this is why I got all those reviews. And yes, I've asked in the video review of the store design, kind of tell me your honest opinion. If you really found the value, then go ahead and leave feedback. And I don't see anything wrong with that. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get this gig back because Fiverr is like a big marketplace. So probably I'm going to just create a new gig the same way that I did this one until I'm going to wait. Maybe I'm going to get the other one or not, but I still have to have something for this challenge. And I'm thinking to bump it up and kind of create a gig where I offer store design because you can make more money with that. Yes, it's going to take a longer time, but like in one order, you can do like a hundred, 150, 200 bucks. So this way it's going to boost my income and get me quicker to the thousand dollars mark. All right, people, it has been a while since I've talked to you. So now we're around the 20th or 21st day in this challenge. Now, the last, around the last two weeks, I was focusing, I was creating this like full Shopify dropshipping course and I didn't really have the time to keep running like the fiber gigs and stuff like that. So I kind of put it aside and I just wanted to finish out this video for my YouTube channel and then to be able to just now just focus on fiber and do only that. By the way, a great news is that actually after speaking with the support of Fiverr about the gig that they removed, I explained them the situation again and after waiting for another day or two, I got my gig back. Nice. So now basically I have two gigs which are the same. So I'm still going to keep the new one that I created that we already got four orders on this gig just for situations like that. But I'm really happy that I got the first one because it has almost 40 orders. So that is really good. I also bumped up the price from $5 to 10 bucks. And for the standard and the premium package as well, I just bump it up for five. So remember that I told you that the goal for me for this challenge is to see if I can even make 500 to a thousand dollars within 30 days. So now we are around the end of week three and guess how much we earned. So you can see that overall claimed, and this is money that I can already withdraw from Fiverr, which is 432 already. So if we go to the earnings tab, so we did so far, all the orders that we already delivered and people accepted that, it's 564 bucks, and we have expected earnings, which is additional $472. So we already crossed the thousand dollars, and that again, if you will really take the time and the effort that I put in, in this Fiverr, account it may be like a week and a half from those three weeks so now i have another like week maybe a week and a half that i will really put some pressure on this account and i will keep making different offers for stuff that have more value because the problem with the gig that i created is that the revenue is quite small so i'm really profiting almost nothing as you can see over here like they take 20 percent after their cut i got like eight bucks for an order of ten dollars and overall it's going to take me too much time to actually get some really high numbers So once again, I forgot to show you the actual gig that I created for offering Shopify store designs. So I basically offer three packages, which is the first one, one product store, but with a free theme. And the standard one is a one product store with premium theme. And the last one is the premium one, which is the most recommended. And that is a knee store with five winning products. So I started with a basic plan and I was selling that for $70. The standard plan was at around like 100 bucks or 120. And the premium one was at 180. Now, obviously people would rather to go with a knee store with five winning products because that's the best price for what you get and not only that if the customer wants to keep switching products testing out new things you will still be able to use this shop so it's just a better investment of your money but that really helped boost more sales and increasing our revenue all right back to the video 
right, all right, all right, all right. Folks, what is going on? So we are almost about to finish the challenge of selling for 30 days on Fiverr. Now, to be honest, this challenge really surpassed my expectations in terms of earnings. In the beginning, I was thinking about making, I don't know, 500 bucks, thousand dollars, would be a very great result, but we're almost at 2K, baby. Oh, I really sounded like Bia is it right now. Stay profitable, baby. So let me go ahead and refresh that for all the skeptical people. In total, so far, we made 1,256 in net income. So this is after Fiverr's fee. And we have expected earnings of almost 600 bucks. Another cool thing that you have over here, if you go to the analytics tab, if you will scroll down, I want to show you is that in the past 30 days, I made almost $400 from my gigs and around 650 in custom offers. So basically what does it mean is that people that let's say are interested in something, they always add more stuff to it. Well, let's say they reach out to me via message and they explain me that they need this or that. So they explain me exactly what they need and then i'm able just to hey this is my offer and i'm sending a custom offer and the customer can pay right away so that in my opinion is one of the best features on fiverr that you can communicate with the buyers on chat and you can send them custom offers based on what they are looking for so this is my almost last update the next one is going to be after the 30 days are finished i really believe that we're going to cross the two thousand dollars maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right but you will have to wait to see that I know, I know it's the last time, I promise. I just want to quickly go over the emails that I've sent so you wouldn't say like, hey, you didn't share with us how many emails did you send to your email list. So let's quickly go over the emails that I've sent. So this is a screenshot from my email corresponder. And as you can see, the first email that I've sent was a December 26th. Then the second one was in like a follow up after three days. Then after my gig got removed, I sent two more emails. And in that period of time, I didn't send any email until January 15th. This is when I announced about the store design gig. And then almost two weeks later, I sent the last email, which basically summarized the challenge and saying that, hey, I'm about to stop running these gigs or increase the prices. So that's your basically last shot. Now in total, you're looking at six emails within a full month, which two of them are actually email about the gig that got removed. I had to send them just a new link to my new gig. You can basically say that it's only four emails within a month. So yes, I had many orders that came from my email list, but I also got a lot of orders for people People that didn't even know that I have a YouTube channel and probably half of my email list didn't even get the email because take just a second and ask yourself how many emails do you get per day from almost each company all right back to the video All right, people. So we finally finished the challenge. At the beginning, when I started, I was not even thinking that I would be able to make that much money. In my opinion, that's a lot. And taking in consideration that most of the month I was working on this huge video that I created for my channel. So I didn't have that much time. And I believe if I was like 100% focused just on Fiverr, not doing anything else, I would probably could make even like maybe double of the amount that I already made. But we need to be thankful for what we already achieved. So without further ado, guys let's dive in straight to my computer and i'm going to share with you the results all right baby put us some drum rolls please <laughs> and boom there you go so let me just break down exactly what's happening over here in the earning stop so the net income over here this is what i already delivered and it was confirmed this is what i'm able to withdraw right now but overall it's 1440 bucks now the expected earnings that is some orders that i already delivered but still haven't confirmed by the buyer and some orders that i'm still working on right now so in total you're looking at total income after fiverr's cut it's two thousand one hundred and seventy six dollars that is not unbelievable to be honest knowing that i was doing that just for 30 days and i know that if i was like really focused on that i could even make like three four grand easily now just to show you that everything is legit in this challenge let's go to today's date let's refresh the page so as you can see today is the 2nd of february 2021 so let's go back to the fiverr account and what i want to do is i want to go to 2020 this is when i actually created the account the end of december and let's go back over here to december we can also go back to november so you will see that there is nothing on november these ones from february this month this is kind of expected earnings that needs to be cleared so for some reason it still shows up on this page so let's select december and if we'll scroll down and let's click on load more as you can see the first one the first order that came in was the 21st of december of 2020 so that's around a month and a week but as i mentioned before i took a complete two weeks pause from this challenge just to make the free dropshipping course so that definitely counts now all i have left to do is to actually deliver the last two stores that i'm working on right now and i'm probably going over to shut down this account
account or I'm going to increase the prices for my gigs. And the main reason for that, because it's really, really time consuming and it's a lot of responsibility. This is why this account still maintain five stars. So for anyone that was considering starting, you know, a Fiverr account, just starting making any kind of money, I highly recommend to check it out because as you can see, there is money to be made. And the good thing, if you already do an e-commerce like myself, Shopify dropshipping or eBay dropshipping or anything online, you can start monetizing your skills the exact same way that I did on Fiverr. And you can make some great side hustle or extra income or even full income. I know that two grand every single month in some places in the world can be more than what you get paid in your job. So again, definitely recommend to at least consider it if you would like to. Let me know overall what you think in the comment section below. And if you like this challenge and you want me to keep doing those kind of things, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time, my friends, peace.